The Buckeyes, uh, the Big Ten favorite in action. Not necessarily your Big Ten favorite, but uh, certainly starting out at number two in the country, taking on an Indiana team that's been a bit of a nuisance for them. They haven't tripped them up, but we've had 52-49 in the last five years. We've had uh, a Jordan Howard-led uh, Indiana team that was sitting at the four-yard line against a number one Ohio State team. They have given the Buckeyes all they could handle in recent years, and, and maybe so tomorrow night. Let's see. Well, the guy who was on the sidelines for Indiana in those games is now going to be in the booth for Ohio State, and that's Kevin Wilson, the head coach of Indiana for the last several seasons, is now the offensive coordinator at Ohio State. And I think that Kevin Wilson is going to bring a renewed sense of energy to that offense. And you're going to see a JT Barrett who is going to play at the level he played as a freshman in 2014, if not better. I actually have changed my tune a little bit since the last time I talked to you on Ohio State. I've looked more into their roster, the rest of the Big Ten. I think Ohio State runs the table this season. I think they go 13-0 and win the Big Ten. And I think JT Barrett's going to be in New York for the Heisman. And I think that they blow the doors off of Indiana tomorrow. It did not end well for Kevin Wilson at Indiana. He did good things at that program. Not an easy place to win. And I think that given the opportunity, even when they bring in the backups, Ohio State's backups are uh, across the board probably every bit as good as a lot of the guys that Indiana's got. And I think that Ohio State pours it on. I love seeing them uh, cover the number in this game and probably win this game 35 points or more. To your point, Josh, uh, anybody out there, check out what Kevin Wilson did at Indiana and go past the win-loss record because that's going to be impressive right. compared to what happened before that. But it's even more impressive when you see how they competed. So they took right. Michigan to overtime two years ago and took them within a score in Ann Arbor this past year. I kind of brushed through some of the uh, – games against Ohio State, uh, the, even the Ohio State team that ran the table and went to the national championship uh, mm -hmm. game and won it. Uh, Jalen Marshall had to bail them out in a 21-20 game into the fourth quarter, and they pulled away late. But uh, it's been tough with IU, and they came within a missed field goal of beating Utah in a bowl game uh, just last year. So I I'm with you. I think it's going to be a decent game into the third quarter, and then Ohio State pulls away. Uh, I've got a little bit uh, tighter at 34-17 Buckeyes in that one.